So we are getting right into the tutorial. I am first starting out with my Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. I love this stuff so much. I'm just rubbing it into my skin. It feels so beautiful. I'm now taking my e.l.f. Cosmetics Bare Skin, I think it's called, or it's just one of their tinted moisturizers. I obviously went a few shades darker than what my regular skin tone would be. Um, I like doing that with sheer face products. I think that they blend out more nicely into the skin and look more natural. Um, but I'm just taking a damp sponge and pressing the product into my skin. It has a very light coverage, but I think it's very fitting for the look. But now I'm taking my Urban Decay concealer, a little bit more coverage, and just putting that in areas that I need it. So like around my nose, my eyes, chin, my mustache area, and then little blemishes. And then I take a brush and blend out the concealer that's on like my cheeks, my chin, a little bit on my nose. But I don't take the brush and put it on my under eyes. I take a sponge for that. I just find that I don't love a whole lot of excess product sitting underneath my eyes, so that's why I take a sponge. But now I'm taking my Glossier Wouter and just dusting that all over my face. We're not baking or anything. I want everything to be really natural and still really dewy. But now we're taking my Modern Renaissance palette and starting on the eyes. I believe I took the shade Burnt Orange and I'm just blending that into the crease. And now I'm taking that more like magenta shade and I took it on a smaller brush and I'm blending that into my crease as well. And I'm going to start blending that into my lid. So that's going to kind of be the main shade on the lid. We're going to add more products but that red shade is just going to be a good base is what I'm trying to say. So with a fluffy brush, one that we just used earlier, I'm blending out the crease so that everything can be really seamless and blown out. You never want a blotchy crease. But now I'm taking my foundation brush that we used earlier and just kind of cleaning up things as we go. And I'm taking another kind of pinkish red shade in the palette and I am dusting that all over the lid. I just really love um, really blown out and really seamless and blended eyeshadow looks. So that's kind of just what we're doing here. But now I'm taking, um, I guess probably just a mix of whatever is left on my brush and putting it underneath my eyes. And now for the star of the show, this is a highlight from Topshop. It's so beautiful. It's the Chameleon Highlight in Mother of Pearl. It's so stunning. I just took my finger and kind of patted it on the lid. Oh my god, I can't get enough of this. I love how it looks. I just take it like kind of all over the eye and then I take a blending brush and dust out whatever glitter is in the crease. And now I'm going in with that shimmery shade in the palette and putting that on my brow bone just to continue highlighting it. I love the look of a shimmery highlighted brow bone. I think it's so beautiful. I'm also taking that in my inner corner. I'm using this ColourPop brush, and I really enjoy this brush a lot. It was like free with the Super Shock shadows. I love using it. So now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Cushion Contour and taking my Real Technique Sculpting Brush and, you know, just bronzing up, contouring my cheekbones. I love this product so much. I literally use it every day of my life. It's, oh my god, it's so beautiful on the skin. It just really melts right into the skin to look really natural. So I always pull this blush out from Too Faced. It is the Sweethearts blush in Peach Beach. I always like using it on Valentine's Day. It's just so cute. And now I'm taking a Anastasia highlight. I believe it's in Pink Hearts. It's that, you know, crazy highlight palette that they have. But the shade is actually really wearable. And it's really cute. It has just a pink shimmer to it. Just setting my brows now with the Anastasia brow tint. And now I'm just putting mascara on my eyelashes. I have no idea what this is. But now I'm using the Urban Decay lip liner in Manic. It's this really cute kind of muted pink. But it's still a little bright. It's not anything super crazy. But I really love this lip liner. It's so cute. But now I'm taking my 
ColourPop Lippy Stick in Brink. It's a really good color combo with the lip liner. You can leave it at this or you can add some gloss. I chose to add some gloss. I love glossy lips. But that is it. I'm just adding some setting spray to finish off the look. And I look so sweaty. Look at my neck. Oh my god. Um, it's so cute. I love it. But that's the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you had a super sweet Valentine's Day. Subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. And I'll see you next time.